and my name is Karen Knight and everyone knows me as Kez and I'm an art therapist. So what is art therapy? Um, it's a two-handed process. On one hand it's about uh, that creative expression which I love this um, cartoon. I think that shows it beautifully. This guy here, he's got a lot of things happening in his head <laughs> but when he can get that out on paper without uh, focusing on an art, uh, an art outcome. It doesn't need to be aesthetically pleasing. As you can see, it's just a lot of scribble. But once he can get that out, he um, returns to himself again with a big sigh of relief. <laughs> so that's on one hand what art therapy can, can do for you. But um, on the other hand, uh, we're creating from a different part of our brain. So uh, when we use verbal language, um, when we, the, the written word, the spoken word, it's using that analytical uh, left brain hemisphere. And quite often we can mask things, like if someone says, hi, how are you today? And quite often we immediately say, yeah, I'm great. But um, you may not necessarily be feeling great. <laughs> but we mask things. Whereas the art is our truth serum. It doesn't lie. <laughs> and in my training, I, I am aware of what certain uh, things uh, can mean. But my role is to hold the energetic space for people and for them to come up with their own meaning around the process. So um, it's very much led by the client and it's very much about empowering the client to um, come up with their own insight. If I was to um, say, oh, that looks like that, that's going on for you at the moment, uh, they would be resistant to that as I know I would be <laughs> if someone told me. Um, it's about coming up with your own insight and your own archetypes and, and symbols and meaning as well. It's, uh, it's very profound. It never ceases to amaze me how profound it is. <laughs> for example, this is one that I've done for myself. I wasn't too sure on where I wanted to take this year as uh, part of my personal and professional development. What so I saw in it was like a butterfly, so there's two wings here and the body and there was all this stuff happening down here but it was the funneling in of things so for me it reminded me about all the, um, the life experience, um, professional, personal development that I've done funneling that in so it's quite uh, concentrated here but then it's expanding out again so for me, it reminded me of the supervision work that I do now, um, the, uh, the workshops that I run for other counsellors and therapists to help them to get on track with their business, their practice, where they want to take that. So it was about um, supporting people through that. And the butterfly for me uh, represents transformation. So it was transforming this into this. So that's what I got out of this art, artwork. So it's not aesthetically pleasing. It's not something that you necessarily want to frame and put on the wall. Uh, it's not about that. It's about the process. That's what art therapy is. Uh, art therapy did originate uh, in the early 1900s um, uh, through Carl Jung. A lot of his work is incorporated in, in art therapy. Uh, Carl Jung broke away from Sigmund Freud and he used a lot of um, artwork with his clients, especially in mandalas. So part of his uh, Red Book, uh, there was a whole series of, of artwork that he, he led his clients through. Help them um, process their emotions uh, and what they were going through to gain insight and the, the powerful aha moments that the artwork brings. And of course there's other, a lot of other people uh, like Stan Groff, uh, he's a, a transpersonal uh, art therapist um, and he formed his ideas um, in the 1960s. So it's been going for a long time. 
uh, but it's um, it's a very deep, profound process that I really enjoy for myself. It's certainly uh, changed my life, and um, it's beautiful to to share that uh, with other people to help them change their life too.